Well, hello everyone and welcome to another React project. In today's project, we're going to create a multi-digital clock display. We're actually going to create a dashboard for multiple regions with specific time zones. So we're going to have a time zone for New York, for London, for Frankfurt, for Tokyo, but you could also add more if you want or change them up. You are going to see that just in a couple of seconds. So this is the project. We're going to use React. We're going to use use state, use effect. And if you're excited, then please give this video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, then subscribe to the channel. Also hit the notification bell in order to get notified whenever I post a new project. So with this being said, the code for this video is down in the description below, the source code, and you will need it because you need to download the CSS. And also this is extremely zoomed in. So I'm going to zoom out again. And I also already set up the project, basically created a React application, MPX, create React app, so far and so on. And if you don't know how to do that, then please check out the how to install React video. It's a really short one on my YouTube channel. So with this being said, let me actually drag this to the right side and just show you that in your app CSS, you're going to delete everything and paste in this code. So it's just a general reset, setting the background a bit, setting this, uh, the background color, and then we have a couple of styles here. Now I'm using a bit more advanced CSS based. I'm using nesting here. So don't be afraid of using nesting. It works in almost all of the browsers. It's extremely helpful and powerful. So let's just, let's just get started with the project. You have to close up the CSS. In your app, you're just going to import then the components that you're going to create. And I also created here a little folder called projects. This is where I usually set up my project and to leave this clean and open for everything. Also, I deleted most of the unnecessary things like index.css, things that we're not needing for this specific project. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to go into projects and create a new file and call this city and time dot JSX. We're going to create here functional components. So RFC. By the way, I'm using React snippets. If you don't have them installed, then just go to your extensions and search for React. And there we go. You should see React ES7, React Redux, React Native. This is just going to give you a bunch of snippets if you want to create shortcuts. So let's go back to a little city timer here. I'm going to leave it as this, just a city timer for now, but I'm going to give this a class of class name of city dash zone. And then I'm going to just hit save and also open up the Explorer, go back to my projects and create a new component. And we're going to call this the clock and dashboard JSX. Okay. RFC. And within here, I'm going to import now the city time that we just created the, the initial component. So let's import, we're going to import here city time from city time. Okay. And we're going to use it down here as a component and, and just return it under the title. You know what? Also the title, I'm going to move it into an H1, uh, paste it in here. Also the finish, this is our project. And this one's the finished one. So let's import our city component in here. So city timer, close it up and also import now the clock dashboard in our app so we're going to delete this project and just also the class of app. We don't need this. I'm just going to import here the clock dashboard component. This should automatically import it up here. So if you're applying this, they should automatically import the component. Now you should already see this. Also, it should have all the CSS applied to it. You see your clock dashboard also missing there. Let's go back here, clock dashboard and create a little space. So this is one little timer. Now let's go back to our dashboard. And this div, the very first div, should have a class name of world dash clock. Also the city timer, because we're going to import multiple city timers. We're going to insert this in a unordered list with the class of cities. Okay, let's just move this up in here. And now you see your dashboard appearing. So that background with some cutoff borders with a bit of border radius. Now in our clock dashboard, I'm going to create now a list. Well, let's just create one, one single time. So I'm going to assign this const to cities. And this is where our cities will live. So we're going to just create an array of objects and each object will have a name. 
And we're going to create the very first one for New York. So New York, then another key value pair with time zone. Now this is really important. Do not mess this one up because these are extremely specific to wherever you're going to use your city. So for example, New York is in America and it is in the time zone of New York. So new and underscore York. Now this is really important that you type this incorrectly because this right here will recognize then the time zone that you're specifying and it will also give you the right time or the correct time. Now we're going to pass the cities down here as a prop. So I'm going to say here city and I'm going to pass down here from my city, my cities, my very first one. So I'm going to pass down here zero, not dot, just like that. Okay, basically I'm passing now down the very first item from my array. Now let's go back to city time, bringing that prop up here. So cities, actually the singular, the city, because they're passing in one city. And now we can start displaying the city, city time, I'm going to delete this, move it down here. We're going to start displaying it in our component. So we're going to first of all create an H2 with the class name of city dash name. Everything here we're going to accept from the city, city prop that we just imported, the name. And if you hit save, you should always see here New York appearing. Let me also increase this just a bit. Next, we need the time. So I'm going to create here a div with a class of city dash time. And this will, of course, accept the city dot time and zone, time zone. Okay, and now you will see America, New York. Now, if you're asking yourself, why are you not seeing any kind of time? Well, because we need to format that time. Now, there is actually a function built into JavaScript and therefore also in React that formats time zones to local time strings. So I'm going to create here const and going to call this formatted and time. We're going to take our time that we're going to pass down here now as a state. And we need to pass it in as a state and not just a city and time zone and then format it because we want to constantly update that update that time. So basically we're going to change the state of the component. So I'm going to create a const, also bring in use state first of so all, react, comma, use state as a hook. And now we can create here a, we can destructure here time and then the setter function set time. And we're going to assign this to a use state. And the state of this will be a new time object. So new and date. So now that we have our timer set as a state, we can actually use it down here as time dot. And now let's use the to local time string function. Now this will take in, first of all, in which style you want to display your time. So we're going to use here in a string, a English dash US, you of course can display it as something else, comma, and now it needs some specification. First one will be the time zone. So the time zone, we already had it brought in is up here as city. And from the city object, we're going to select the time zone. Now, instead of passing here city time zone, I'm going to call upon this formatted string right here, pass it in time right here. Now you can always see that the timer is now appearing as 1 p.m. This is the local time in New York, 1 a.m. Sorry, not p.m. Here are the minutes and here are the seconds and you can see that they are not changing. Now, why aren't they changing? Because we only called upon our time one single, well, time, <laughs> we, only, we only called upon it one single time. In order to call upon it multiple times, then we need to use a hook that is going to refresh the time and that is the use effect because use effect will run once every time we call upon it. Also once every time the component is loaded. So I'm going to bring in use effect, then go down here before my format time function. Actually, it's not a function, it's a variable. So let's use our use effect, and we're going to call upon an error function. We're going to create here const, call it timer, and we're just going to create a extremely simple set interval that is going to constantly refresh the timer each and every second. So set interval, and we're going to set the interval here to update the set time. Remember, we have this as a state. We're going to call upon the setter now. And the setter will now create a new date time. We're going to pass in here a new date object, which is going to then be called upon each and every second. So 1000 milliseconds. 
Now you can see that the timer is updating, basically it's reloading this component one second at a time. Now I do want to emphasize that you should not use the time down here or the reload of one second in the use effect. You should actually, you could, you could use it here, but I would prefer if you used it, so I'm going to wrap this into curly brackets and move this up here after set time, okay? And also I would suggest that you regularly use your return and clear the timer. And within here, we're going to use our clear interval and this will clear our timer up here, okay? Oops, not the entire thing, just user. Perfect. Also, if you add here, comma, square brackets, it will update this constantly. Now, a couple of caveats. For example, down here in our format time, we have multiple optionalities. First things first, you can get rid of this AM by using the hours, one, two, and set this to false. Hit save, uh, sorry, just hour, not hours. And this should get rid of that AM. Also, you could use uh, your hour and then two digits. This will then display the hour in two digits, basically. If this would surpass 12, it will be then 13. And then you should also use your, I'm just going to copy this two more times and change it to minutes and then seconds. Okay, and this will then display everything in two digits. So how should it, also if you get rid of this, it will no longer display the seconds. It will just display minutes, uh, hours, and minutes. And we'll just see in a couple of seconds. Okay, so there we go. So now it's 2 a.m. <laughs> I believe in New York. And let's just quickly check it. NY time, it should give me the current time. Yes, it's 2 a.m. in New York, currently. 12th of August, 2023. Okay, let's close this one up. Okay, now we want to have multiple timers and we also want to have multiple time zones. We're pretty much set up here to take in these as props. So I'm going to go back to my clock dashboard component and I'm also going to close up the left part and I'm going to create now add here multiple time zones. So let's also add, let's do here comma. I'm going to add one more and the rest I'm going to copy them in. Let's add another object with the name of London and then a time zone of, now London is in UK and U, the UK is in Europe. So you need to use the Europe time zone here and dash London. If I can type in London correctly, it's London. Okay, so we have this one. Now in order to use more than one from this array, we're going to now get rid of this. And also we're going to actually use our array and use a higher array method on it. I'm going to use cities, also pack this in the entire thing into curly brackets. I'm going to loop over our cities using the map, so dot map. And I'm going to take each city from that map and also their indexes, because we need to use our index as a key and then pass it in here. I'm going to now move the city component up here. So I'm going to pass the city in here as a city. So each city will be passed in as a city, as a map city. And also I'm going to use the key the index basically as a key, okay? And user should be down here. So close it up here. Now this should map or loop over each of the cities and pass it down here as each city and display it. You're going to use the city city time component, pass the current pass the current location in here and we can see that we have also London. Now in London, current time is 7 a.m. and three minutes and now I'm going to copy in everything, just basically use two more. That was for Frankfurt from Europe, Berlin, and Tokyo, which is in Asia, and it's referring to Tokyo. Now, if I would use, uh, let's say here, Munich, you see that Munich is still referring to the time zone of Berlin. Okay, so it's the same time. So for example, if you would like to have, let's say, uh, some kind of city from Europe, from, uh, Italy, then you would need to change this to Rome. And then let's say Milano. Does it spell two L's, Milano, yeah, one L, okay. Now, because Berlin and Rome are basically on the same time zone, it uh, jumps sort of from, yeah, London is the very first one, then it jumps from plus one, we'll see the same time as in Frankfurt. Okay, so I'm going to just control Z and there we go. So this is the finished project. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a like. It's a great way to support the channel. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, 
considering doing so and clicking that notification bell in order to get notified when I post a new video. The code is down in the description below. The finished code is going to lead you to a GitHub repository. And if you want to support me, then please check out the courses. They're also down in the video description below. If you want to learn more React or if you want to learn JavaScript or want to learn CSS, Bootstrap, everything, I got them all. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Norbert BM. And with this being said, I wish you a lovely day. Take care. Bye-bye.